pillows are so nice, but that's not what we're here for. We're here to shop. So let's do some shopping and let's see what we can come up with. You're security officer at the store? Yes, ma'am. Why would you be called up to address a customer with a customer concern? I'm calling to get clarification on the one per purchase. Yeah, my name is Adeline. Who do I have the pleasure of speaking with today? I need to speak to someone who is knowledgeable concerning your coupon policy. Mm -hmm. Yes, I am. How can I help you? Well, I need clarification on the wording on your coupons. Basically, your coupon says limit one per purchase, but four per shopping trip. So I just wanted to confirm that I can use four coupons in the same transaction. Hello? Yes, ma'am. Yes, thank you for holding. Thank you for holding. Um, you can only use one coupon for one item. Correct. That means you can use all of all of the four for the same transaction, but it should be for different items. Correct. Item. Okay. Let's say that you you have a few in a problem, and uh, you have a few in a one. Or two different Purina one, and then you can you can have you can use all the four coupons for the same transaction. Uh, since each coupon will will go with an item, a different item. Let me put you on hold. Let me have your name first, and I I will put you on hold and find somebody to talk to. Six. I was speaking with the lady at Purina. But I was having a bit of a hard time understanding. I believe she was saying um, that you can use one coupon per item and four per transaction with the Purina coupons. But I wanted to make sure that I was understanding her correctly. So I asked to be transferred to someone else just so I can get further clarification. She did a great job and she was very helpful in assisting me. However, I wanted to be very, very clear so that I don't give you guys bad information. But what she said definitely lines up with what the Purina coupons say. One per purchase, limit of four per household per day. It's very, very clear that a purchase is different from your transaction because they say one per purchase, but four per household per day. Okay, so the purchase is separate from the transaction and it's being proven again right here. Kellogg's is another company that is very, very clear on their coupons, and I appreciate that. Limit one coupon per purchase of product indicated. They make sure to say product as a separate word. So limit one coupon per product is very clear. Um, I think stores see the word purchase and just run with it. But limit one coupon per product indicated. Limit of four identical coupons in the same shopping trip okay so that's very clear i still don't Hello? see yes ma'am yes i will transfer you to we will assist you thank you you, you too you're welcome hi good morning my name is with one of the supervisors on the floor today with whom i have the pleasure of speaking with store policy withstanding i know stores have different policies so i'm not even you know trying to get into a store policies but just Strictly talking Purina coupon policy. I have one of your coupons in front of me. Let's say I have four bags of dog food. I can use up to four coupons. That is correct. Now, what that means is that it is limited for that one coupon for that particular item. Let's say you were buying, let's say you were buying our Purina One product um, and you had two coupons. You would only be able to use that one coupon on that one product, but you could most certainly use double coupons for different products in that one um, transaction, if that makes sense. It makes perfect sense. So if I had four bags of dog food, I could use how many mm -hmm. coupons? So you would be able to use one coupon per product, but no more than four in one, in, in one transaction. Thank you for calling Procter & Gamble. Looking for the latest brand saver offers from the PG brands you love? Press one. For all other questions, so thank you for calling PG. This is whom do I have the pleasure of speaking with? Hi, my name is. How can I help you? Hi, I basically just have a question for clarification on the coupons. Um, and most stores I go to, I don't have this problem, but I was just at a smaller store. And just for clarification, on the coupon, when it says one per purchase, 
but two per transaction. The purchase is not the transaction, correct? That's just the item, and the transaction is the entirety of it? Oh, you can use one, one coupon per product. Right, that's what, that, that's what you mean. I'm sorry, go ahead, I didn't mean to cut you off. Uh, no, I was just asking if that's what you mean. Oh, yes, uh, what I mean, it, it, what I mean is one coupon per product, that's what one per purchase means. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, and it just depends on the store's uh, policies on how they want to take that. Uh, but, yeah, that is what it is intended for is the one product. I mean, if it's for, I mean, we have coupons that could be like buy one, get one, or you know, something like that. But um, it will say it on there for one one of those uh, products. So, just to make sure I'm understanding you correctly, when it says two per trans, like two identical per transactions, that means if I'm buying, you know, two items or however, following the guidelines of the coupon, I can use up to two per that, you know, shopping trip. If it says two, limit two per shopping trip. You could, yeah, if it says a limit of two, then you got, you could have two for that uh, coupon. If, if it's the store policy for only, uh, you know, able to accept something, then that, that might be something from the store. But right. If it says the coupon, if there's, so it'll tell you if it's only for one or if you can get two of them on the coupon itself for that product. Okay. And and I so I understand everything you're saying um, perfectly. Basically, I have to adhere to the store's policy about you know they might say only five coupons a day or you know per person. So I have to follow that policy first and then abide by your policy on your coupons secondly. Is that what you're saying? Well, yeah, it's our coupons and those are the, what our coupons go by, but sometimes stores um, yeah, have their own policies that they'll go by their policies before ours. Okay, that's pretty plain. So, and the most thing I needed to verify because this is the most thing that people have a, a, the question on. Okay, so one per purchase means like for that item, right? Um, you could use that, yeah, for one, the coupon, that one coupon for that one product on there. Our, our coupons are pretty straightforward, you know, one, the product, the one product for the one coupon. Or you would be surprised. Two or You'd be surprised. Like, I feel like, as a couponer, I feel like you guys have written it plainly, but you would be surprised at the lack of training in stores. Even when their corporate policy says, you know, you can accept up to five or ten, the store, um, the, the cashiers will say I think one per purchase means that you can only use one per transaction so um, just a suggestion does Procter & Gamble have like a suggestion box because I would love to suggest that they put one per item to make it more clear to stores and cashiers uh, is there any kind of uh, way I, I could make a suggestion <laughs> one per item um, yeah I could go ahead and put that in the notes here um, so you want it uh, like written down there, you, know, you could put uh, one um, item per coupon. Yes, like one, yes, like one item per coupon. Yeah, you could use like more than one coupon per day. Um, now printing out, there's, um, yeah, you can only print out coupons once uh, a month from our website itself. Mm -hmm. um, if you're getting them out of the newspaper, you know, they're, they're already printed out for you, but that's uh um, you can use the multiple coupons. Um, that's why at grocery stores you can use multiple coupons too normally. Hey, I just have a question concerning um, the wording on your coupons. Okay, what's your question? Okay, basically when it says one item per purchase and a limit of two per shopping trip, does that mean that I'm able to use two in that same transaction? Yes, that's what it should be. Okay, so what are the questions that you do have? Because I know that you're wondering as far as when it comes to the, the coupon, if it states, you know, if it's one, you know, you're trying to figure out if it's just one, one transaction or if it's just one product, correct? You're on You're on the right track. So what I can tell you is with certain coupons, you know, it is possible to use two in one transaction, you know, and purchase two products, but it's also store policy. So some stores may let you 
you know, use that two coupons with two products and one transaction. Um, so if I can ask again, just for um, the record to make sure I'm understanding you correctly. Um, when your Unilever coupons say the maximum of two identical coupons allowed in the same shopping trip, that means I can use up to those two and no more than that in that shopping trip. Correct. You yourself sound like you're a couponer because it sounds like you know what you're talking about, or at least you have some knowledge of coupons. So let me ask you this. Do you know um, how on every coupon says one per purchase? Every coupon says that. You've probably seen that before. Um, so do you have, yes, I have, so you have knowledge of how that means that doesn't mean one per transaction. And that's what I was trying to explain. Uh, I wanted clarification on that one per purchase means one per item and then a limit of two per transaction. If the store policy agrees. Yes. If the store policy agrees, then that is definitely how you would definitely go through that process. That was all I really wanted to know was to clarify that one per purchase means one per item. And then when it says on the same coupon limit of two per shopping trip, that means you can use two on that shopping trip, but no more than that. That's all I yeah. wanted. Yeah. This is what I got for the other evening, so I'm going to make sure it's your... She's telling me I can use one coupon per transaction. Let's see, what does this One coupon per purchase. That's what I... I got told that we couldn't yeah. do this. Yeah, it's one per purchase. Yeah. You know, a purchase is not a transaction. You do understand right. that, right? A purchase is the whole transaction. No, it's not. A purchase. The purchase is the item. The transaction is the transaction. And I'll show you, and I'll, and I'll even clarify that. If you read on this coupon in particular, um, there's another copy there if you want to read along with me. It says, limit one coupon per specified items purchase. Limit four coupons per household per day. Some of the other ones say one per purchase. And this one says one per purchase, but two per trans transaction or in the same shopping trip one specified item and that's per purchase so that's the total purchase no, d are you being serious yes specified item means purchase no on these it says per purchase so that's the total purchase let's say we can use multiple of these if you have multiple items i do have multiple items but on these, these i cannot and this one says two okay but that's one per purchase maximum of two identical coupons allowed on the same trip so that's two total purchases. And you're being serious? Yes, ma'am. Well, this is with the training my uh, AP department gave me. Is that in this store or is that corporate? I mean, that's what he gave me and he usually gets his directives from corporate. In so. this store? I mean, that's what he told me, so I have to go by what he tells me. Right, okay, so that didn't come from corporate, that comes from Do you have someone any in this store. Any other store no, no. Definitely not. And if that were the case, then all coupons say one per purchase. Okay. You're only doing what you've been yeah. told, or I completely understand. Yeah. Hello. Hi. Right. So there's a coupon issue, I take it? Yes. Okay. Um, I was told that I could only use one coupon per transaction. Correct. One identical coupon per transaction. Yes, that when would be the case. Do you have a hard copy of Target's coupon policy with you right now? Uh, I would love great. I would love to look at it together. Where's that? Yes, they are. And I'm just following policy for identical per day. Okay. That's all I was doing was for identical. Okay, guys. So now he wants to know where the coupons are. So I told him where they are. Now he's reading them. And they're scrambling to find the coupon policy. So it's supposed to be posted right here where it says policies, but it's not. So we came down here to read them. So the coupons themselves specify one per purchase. So right, and I was explaining to him that a purchase is the item, not the transaction. That's been verified by several manufacturers and okay. retailers that the purchase is the item, not the transaction. And, and when you read coupons, each one will say, like, 
one per purchase. Every coupon says one per purchase. And then it says a limit of so many per transaction or shopping trip if you continue to read. It'll always say one per purchase. That means the item. And then there's always a limit for the total uh -huh. in that transaction. Okay. Like this one says limit two right. per shopping trip. Uh -huh. And that one says limit four. That one says limit two. A purchase is an item and the transaction is something completely different. Okay. Uh, this is per shopping trip. Wait, who are you? I didn't ask. I'm sorry. Oh, Your I'm shirt says Target Security. Are correct. you security? Yes, yes ma'am. So you're not in management? I'm the leader of security here, yes. Is that you're a leader of security? I was expecting to be speaking to a manager. So, call a so, so you were trained on these issues. Why would he call security? Okay, guys. So he called someone in security to speak to me about my coupons, and now I'm great. Now I'm extremely offended. Someone for security was called to. Why were you called to speak to me about coupons? Your security officer at the store. Yes, ma'am. Why would you be called up to address a customer with the customer concern? When the customer has a concern, do you all send security to speak to everyone? Coupon issue, customer concerns. I didn't have an issue. I'm a customer with the concern. Why would you send security to speak to me? There is an apparent issue if security is called to speak to me. I asked to speak to a manager. Why is the security? Why would they call you? Does this happen to every customer? Were you concerned that I would become irate and misbehave or something? Why would they call you? She didn't have she didn't have an issue with me. She did not call for you. She was very polite. I was very polite. We had a great conversation. I don't understand why you were called when I asked to speak to a manager. Now we have an issue. Now we have an issue. I asked to speak to a manager and they sent security. Now we have an issue. Okay. Well, okay. Well, I don't understand why they sent security. I understand, but, you know, I'm still standing here waiting to speak to a manager. Okay, sure. LED, can you come to register one? Well, there's no real issue there. We just checked the coupon. Call. You just said there was an issue and that's why you came. Now you're saying there's no issue here. I said we and you're still smirking. This is not funny. Man, you're interrupting me. I'm just trying to let you know that we deal with these coupon policy stuff all the time. I'm interrupting you because you're contradicting yourself and you're smirking while this is a serious issue. Okay. Your security and you were called over here when I asked to speak to a manager. I requested a manager. I don't understand why they sent security. It just happens all the time. That's who they call. For everyone who asks to speak to a manager, they send security. No. For everyone who asks to speak to a manager, they send security. No. Okay.